This week's In the Field is presented by Gordon's Feed and Pet. Welcome to JBJ Livestock in Brighton, Missouri, where Jared Fries has taken his love for sheep to the show ring, pasture, and everywhere in between. My name is Jared Fries. I'm a recent graduate of Missouri State University with the William H. Darr School of Agriculture. Um, my family and I run and raise uh, white dorper sheep here at JBJ Livestock right outside of Springfield, Missouri. We raise white dorper sheep. They are actually known as a hair sheep instead of a wool sheep. Um, kind of a thing that people go, whoa, what, what is that when you first hear of a hair sheep? I thought sheep had wool, which they do, a lot of them do, but since about the 1980s, um, several universities started doing research and created a lot of hair sheep just because of the reason that wool incentives were starting to die off and there wasn't as much demand and quality product for the wool. So you had to come up with something for the sheep industry for it to thrive at that point. At that point, they did start doing research and developing several different breeds of hair sheep. We've been a family run operation since it would have been uh, 1990s pretty much. It started out with my mother and my father. They actually started out raising Rambouillet sheep back then. And at that point, um, both of them had grown up in the horse industry and wanted their kids to be involved in showing. So we got into showing sheep at that point. In about uh, early 2000s, we started looking for something just that kind of was a more commercial based type animal at that point in the industry. By 2005, we actually had switched over and started raising some commercial hair ewes. Uh, they were a Katahdin Dorper base at that point and we started doing a little bit more research and found the white Dorper sheep and that was by far the way to go at that point. It really has made a difference and an impact in our farm here. Jared and his family have created a niche market clientele for their white Dorpers and have several different marketing channels. We have the registered side which we sell 14 to 15 registered ewe lambs a year. Some of them go back into breeding programs. Others will start and they'll be showed real competitively all summer at shows. And then after that, our big market is we sell lots of commercial rams every year. Um, we anywhere we average from 20 to 30 rams a year is what we'll sell. And they all go back into flocks that have six to 700 or more plus sheep every year. A lot of those are going back into flocks that are primarily just a, just a hair based ewe and then they go throw these dorper rams on them because the dorpers are also a hair sheep, but they have bigger muscle type. They can put a pounds heavier lamb on the ground within 60 days of when they're born just to hit that market quicker. These dorper sheep, what they have that so many breeds don't is they're a more moderate sized animal. They are smaller in frame size compared to like what you see in a lot of like Rambouillets and Suffolk type sheep that are a bigger frame score animal. These are definitely lower in their frame scores, but they're gonna weigh just as heavy as those other breeds do because I mean, they've got so much muscle shape, so much rib capacity to them and things like that. Um, another really great thing about them is they're just so easy doing. I mean, you know, we're dry here in Southwest Missouri this year and we really haven't had to supplement that much. I mean, we've been very fortunate there. These animals are easy doers. Although summer months are dry and hot, Jared considers this time of the year easy. In just a few short months, JBJ Livestock will start lambing. Their 100 ewes will typically produce 102% lamb crop. How is that possible, you might ask? Well, for sheep, twins are quite common. I love what we do. I love the family bond that it involves with each other. And um, I mean, that's really when it comes down to it. I think in any project you do involve with livestock, it's fun to win. It's fun to sell a lot of sheep and stuff like that, but I mean, it's really the family involvement that makes it all work. I showed as a junior and I think I have more fun now helping other juniors than I did when I showed myself. It, it's just something I really like doing. It's, it's fun to be the guy on the outside of the show ring looking in now and, you know, I mean, you can kind of stand there and say, yeah, I mean, I had something to do with that, but I started that kid out and look at him now. I mean, he's, he's really doing a good job, so. As you can tell, Jared has been a part of every aspect of the industry, but has enjoyed being a mentor to the youth in the organization above all. 